this little one here. Put this towards the camera. And we gotta go up to Sorry about that. Trying to work around the camera. Okay, so there you have another LED that's lit with the Litz ring. And uh, let's get the best. We're at 9 megahertz. See if I can get anything better on the other scale. There you go. It's 9.7576 megahertz. And we're going to take this here and we're going to put it here also. So here we can see this one also is lighting up extremely well. Uh, this is just to show you guys that, you know, I have one pancake coil that's pulsing. I could probably have hundreds of little coils on this pancake coil uh, arranged, finding the right type of coils and produce some pretty good light. Uh, I'm not saying anything about over unity, not right now, but it's just to give you guys uh, a little bit of impetus here to look a little further than the builds that you make because we decide that we're going to make a primary and a secondary the way we decide to make it and we do our tests and very often just slight variations, slight variations can make all the difference. Like here, if I move this ring just a little bit, it's gone. If I move it in, it's there. Okay, so we're going to change this to another configuration. Okay, this is just another way of showing these uh, yoke coils. Uh, basically, they're both flat now on the pancake coil. And you can see this nice bright light there coming out. And, uh, you know, just to, just to show that... Uh, it's not really what you're you're seeing here that's the most important. What's more important here is the fact that I can have two more of these yokes underneath the pancake coil that would double my output. And I could probably have maybe three or four more yokes placed elsewhere around this pancake coil and get more output. So the idea here is to maximize as much output as you can with the input that you're giving. And I think that's where we're going to be able to beat the OEU question eventually, at least at a small scale. Okay, so we'll close this one and we'll put up another one. And we continue. Um, so you notice that I put this darker uh, 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 paper on the, on the table here so that you can uh, see the LED lighting up a little better. Uh, okay, so I still have my pancake coil here that's being pulsed. And here I took that uh, length of um, uh, battery cable, uh, battery connector, and wound uh, two more turns uh, on that particular thing to make it more and more like a pancake coil. And we're just going to take this here. And we're just going to put it right there. And there you go. So I can have two of those, one on top, one on bottom, and I can double the output. There you go. I can double the output. I can have 10 panking coils, and I can have uh, 12 of these coils in between. Th these effects are just to show preliminary effects. That's all they are. That's all they've been from the beginning of these videos. It's just to show you guys that uh, maybe get yourself a little pulsing coil, take out all your old builds, and start playing around with them again. You're going to learn a whole bunch of different angles on how these fields work together. And uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas on making a new build. 
So I think right now, I don't know how long I have left on these videos, but uh, I might be making a few more. I'm going to see what's going to happen. I have a whole bunch of other builds to show you guys, especially some a smaller TPU type build. So I'll be working on that and getting other, some other stuff ready for you guys. Okay, thanks a lot. And uh, we'll probably, you might see you after this particular coil here. There might be some more. I just have to see how much time is left. Thank you. Have a good time. Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, right now what I have, uh, I'm still pulsing into my uh, pancake coil. And what I did was I put the... Uh, I put this uh, little build that I had done at one time uh, with Otto. Uh, basically, this is a ferrite from a monitor. It's the same monitor from which I took my uh, my coils. So this is basically the ferrite. The ferrite itself, I put. We put in horizontal windings all the way down. This is one wire going all the way down. There's a center tap here, but we're not using it. So you see that black wire there? That's wound all the way inside. And then there's an outer wound wind, uh, actually two winds, over that, which in this particular instance I'm not using. All I'm doing is just connecting my, my wires to the two black wires here, coming from the inside, the horizontals. And here we have nice brightness at 9 megahertz. And the funniest thing is this. Let me try and get this here so you can see this. You see here? This yellow jumper is right here. Okay, if I take this off, of course it's going to stop. If I take this off, nothing happens. But when I take any one of these and put it on here, look at that. And actually, I have to change the frequency somewhat. And look at that. This is one wire. That's all there is. This 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 wire here is totally not connected to anything, and I'm still getting a nice light. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, actually, I should do it like SM said. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, so, this is another one. Let's see if I can uh, put up another build here and show you a few other things. Okay, I took that yoke out, but I just wanted to show you something. That particular yoke is what burned my desktop pretty 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 uh, um, resistant surfacing on my table and just it just burned it away on some other tests that I did. Oh this is going way back. So let's go to the next one.